Hello to all of you dear ones. Welcome to your program. I hope you are all well. A note about the fixed focus system I should say. And this is important for those who want to build this system. In this system, we put a pipe in the center and the focus is at the top. The focus is very hot and I can feel it with my hand. The position of the focus with this situation forces us to cut the dish to the size of the base of the focus and to the center of the dish. And in this case, we have no choice but to cut the dish. To see better, I first cut off the electrical connection of the tracker, that the tracker does not move the dish. Now I rotate the moving part so that the groove of the solar dish is completely visible. Now the dish cut is completely visible. This cut is used when the sun is on top of the system. This cut creates several problems. First, it reduces the strength of the dish, and more structure must be used to strengthen the dish. And that makes the dish heavier. Second, it makes the dish more difficult to make and takes more time. Third, it may disorder with focal focus and it also increases the cost of making dishes. Of course, for small solar dishes like this, it is not so problematic. But it will be a trouble to make large solar dishes. This is a simple way to access the focus in this system. In the image you see, you can see the steps of closing the structure of this dish. This solar dish was originally a satellite dish. After cutting, it looks like this. This structure has been used for its strength. And finally made in this form. The second method is to access the focus in the fixed focus system is to place the focal base outside the moving area of the dish. Suppose the sun is rising. That is, the dish is placed on this side. Now the dish is almost in front of the sunrise. We mark this point. And now, by moving the moving part, we place the dish in front of the sunset. Now the dish is almost in front of the sunset. Now this space can be the base of the focus. That is, there is a free space. Now I put a tube here as the base of the focus. This allows us to access the focus with another horizontal tube. So far we have two ways to access the focus. In the image you see, you see two ways to access the focus. If you want to access the focus outside the system, The height of the base of the focus should not interfere with the movement of the dish. There is a third way to access the focus in this system. In this way and towards the free space that we marked earlier. At the base of the center, we make a depression the size of the dish moving inwards as you can see in the figure. This method is not suitable in tropical areas where the sun is in a vertical position. And it can be used in places where the sun moves horizontally. Of course, making curves and passing oil pipes is not so simple. I do not recommend this method. So we have three ways to access the focus. And whichever method you deem appropriate, perform it. Consider the cost and difficulty of the work and then act. Well, now I turn on the tracker system again.
Of course, in cold regions, the solar dish is not placed horizontally. And it needs less gap. In the tropics, the focus can be accessed in only two ways. One direct method like this system. And another access from outside the system. In this case, the focal base is outside the range of the moving part of the system. And also, we install the focal base in a place where the dish has the lowest height during the day. And the height of the focal base does not hit the dish. Suppose this tube is the focal base. This base is outside the system and will have access to the focus from above. Of course, in this case, the tubes should be thin so that the shadow is less on the dish. I hope this part of the program was useful to you. Goodbye until another program.